My name is uh, Ron Spoggi, 67 year old businessman who has spent uh, a lot of time doing things other than business, especially in the international arena. Education was certainly at the foundation of many of the wonderful things I've done in my life. The most difficult crisis I faced uh, when I had uh, difficulty in my uh, career was uh, to not lose confidence, to uh, think uh, positively about the situation. Challenges that, uh, that one faces ultimately when you get through them can make you a much better person than you were before them. The important thing is to understand that um, the world is very challenging um, and I've always felt uh, that having a much more modest attitude uh, toward uh, life successes were, was the best philosophy to have. Not to feel risk averse, uh, to feel comfortable that um, if one is not successful, one can try again. The best strategy I've always felt is to uh, um, always work very diligently and be well uh, prepared academically. The, uh, the practice of business is changing dramatically and as a result both the teaching of business uh, is changing. The international component as the world has become much smaller. I think we're in an era of uh, very profound changes in how the fundamentals of business are taught. I think that's a very enriching opportunity for young people. BBS has a tremendous future ahead of it and uh, I think the roots that it has certainly in uh, uh, in the uh, oldest university in the world uh, helps it, if you will, being uh, well grounded, having uh, the basic tools that are, that are important in business. There are many new areas that uh, have to do with the digital economy, uh, have certainly to do with, uh, with innovation, uh, have to do with entrepreneurship, and I think BBS is also thinking about those things in a very creative, very intelligent way. So I think uh, at BBS one gets not only the benefits of a traditional foundation, but also some of the newest approaches to the teaching of business as well. Traditional, um, uh, certainly innovative, uh, and international would be three words that would come to mind.